our viewer question today. Um, they want to know what your thoughts on the flu vaccine are. Oh my. Um, <clears throat> if I'm speaking like a well-trained um, Western physician, um, I, I should, everybody ought to be getting their flu shot. And uh, the reality is that of all the vaccines that are out there, the flu vaccines uh, have the most controversy and variable effects. Uh, why? Because you're probably aware that when they make up the flu vaccine, they're largely basing it on last year's flu viruses that went around. They're trying to guess which ones um, may mutate and try to come up with a vaccine for this. And uh, I've never been that impressed with the uh, efficacy of the vaccine. It, it gives about a 40%, 60% reduction. Uh, the question is, whether having the flu vaccine might raise your antibodies against COVID. Uh, now, they're two totally different viruses. Flu is obviously an influenza virus. Uh, the, uh, the COVID virus is, is from the SARS coronavirus family. They're, they are different viruses. And so I'm a little skeptical uh, that having antibodies against influenza are really going to protect you against COVID. Uh, so it's up to you. Uh, the, uh, it's a very personal decision. Uh, if you're someone with severe asthma and, uh, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and emphysema, uh, the last thing you need is a respiratory virus like either uh, influenza or COVID. Uh, so if you believe in flu vaccines, though, those are the folks who probably really should be getting them. And I'm still going to be observing the literature to see. In fact, I just saw just got my last, uh, uh, my latest uh, issue of JAMA here, and um, and uh, flu vaccination urged during COVID nineteen pandemic. So now I got to read the article and see why they're doing. I know that they are urging, it, but I want to know the science behind it. Why does it make sense to get influenza immunization for a non influenza virus? So uh, so stay tuned, everyone, uh, uh, and we'll. Uh, uh, Annie, let's make a note that um, let's pick this up uh, in a few days, and I'll uh, I'll give you I'll read the article, I'll let you know whether it makes sense to get a flu vaccine. But but certainly, if you're someone with pulmonary problems, yeah, you probably should get one. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here, announcing our new format for our Q and A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.